In this video, I'm going to talk about the relational operators in C. So if I make two variables here, A and B, and I set them equal to 5 and 2, I can compare them with operators like A is greater than B. And we can see which one is greater than the other using operators like that. So we can say here printf, and we'll go over each one of them. So I'm going to say here percent %d is equal equal to percent %d. And I'm going to output the result here as an int. And we'll output A in that first placeholder here, and then B in the next one. And then we'll output the result of A equal equal B. So this operator equal equal here, this is checking is A equal to B. And if they are equal, it'll return true. If they're not, it'll return false. And let's output them here and let's just see what we get here. So let's just compile this and run it. And we get five is equal equal to two is false. So zero means false. And we could then check out the not equals operator, which is gonna be pretty similar. So we're gonna say here print F and we're gonna say, exclamation mark equals. So this is gonna check if A doesn't equal B. So let's check if A doesn't equal B. And this is gonna return true essentially if they do not equal each other and false if they do equal each other. So if we run this here, we're gonna get one. So it's true that A doesn't equal B in this case. And then there's a few other operators. And these are, these are the operators you see in math really. So these ones are kind of more familiar. So we could check is A greater than B. And we'll have A greater than B here. And if we run this here, we're going to get that yes, A is greater than B. We can do greater than or equal to, and that should be true as well. So greater than or equal to is greater than and then equals, and then greater than and then equals here. And if we run this one here, we're going to get that A is greater than or equal to B, which makes sense because it is greater than B too. And then we could do a printf here and we'll do less than and less than or equal to. So we'll say less than less than or equal to, and then less than, and less than or equal to up here. And in this case here, A is not less than, B is not less than or equal to B. So if we run this one here, we should get zero, zero for these last two. And, and we do, and we're happy, because it makes sense. So we could try some different values just to see what happens. Like if we made, say, B here five, then in this case, the less than or equal to here, that should actually flip and it should actually be true because it is going to be you know, greater than or equal to now. It is going to be less than or equal to at this point because five is less than or equal to five. Whereas something like say the greater than, this should actually flip to a zero because five is not greater than five, right? It's equal to five. So if we run this here now, we do see that those two things flip. So this one here flips to, to false and this one here that was uh, false flips to true. And again, that makes sense because five is less than or equal to five. Uh, five is not greater than five. And so we've tested out these operators and we can see how they work. And these relational operators are things we would use in C to create conditions. So to create conditions maybe in say something like an if. So we could say like if X or if A is greater than B, then we can print F, you know, something else. We print F something else. And we could use them in conditions like this. That's going to be your typical use case for this kind of a thing. And, you know, we could compile this and just, just see how it works. In this case, A is not greater than B, so we're going to get something else printed out, right? And this is the kind of place where you'd see these kinds of relational operators used to carry out our program logic. So that's relational operators. Hopefully this has been helpful. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.